Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and today I'm gonna do another one of those rant style videos. Basically, I'm gonna sit in front of the camera and talk, and I'm gonna pick a subject that is thought provoking. Today, we're going to talk about named corals. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna do much editing. I'm not gonna show a lot of examples. The reality is, is I've had this video in my mind for a long time, but to do it the way I wanna do it would take way more time than I actually have to put into the video. So to do content that's cool and thought-provoking, I've started doing some of these rant-style videos. So without further ado, let's talk about named corals. If you follow me, you'll know that I basically don't care about coral names. Now, the main reason is, is I buy my corals based on how cool I think they are. I look at the coral, I go look at the color, how basically rare it is and how interested in it I am, that's how I decide the corals that I want to purchase. Now, a lot of you love the names. You want the named coral, but named corals to me are mainly marketing. So it's a way for coral sellers to get you to spend more money. The other bonus is behind name corals is if I say the name of a coral and it's a famous enough name, odds are you'll have a basic idea of what I'm talking about. If I say interstellar mushroom, you know what I'm talking about. If I say utter chaos zoa, good chance you know what I'm talking about. If I say Walt Disney acro, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. So that's the bonus behind the name, but it gets weird. And let's start with Acropora tenuous. Now we kept Acropora tenuous for many years before the LED technology was out. And we got those beautiful colors out of them, but we never got the colors that we see today. Like what we're seeing in the Walt Disney's and the Home Wreckers and just those crazy coral names. Main reason is lighting technology has changed. We're cooking these corals under LEDs and we're getting crazy colors out of them. So Odds are, in the past, people were buying large colonies of Walt Disney for $100 to $200 a colony, but it wasn't showing the amazing colors we get today under the LEDs because it's the old days and we had metal halides and T5s. Is it still a Walt Disney? Of course it is, but it doesn't show the colors. So now these crazy colored corals, people are coloring up under the LEDs, and odds are, when you buy it, it's gonna come home and it's gonna change colors on you. If you've bought Acros, you'll know there's a good chance that your Acro can turn brown. Just the change of lighting between where it was and your tank and calcium, alkalinity, water chemistry, everything working together, that coral can change colors. So that amazing Walt Disney goes in your tank and turns brown, is it still a Walt Disney? Well, of course. Now, when it colors up, if it turns green, is it still a Walt Disney? Well, it should be, right? But it's not showing those crazy colors. Now you have to work with the potential of the coral. So it gets really hard for me to call something a named coral when so much of it is dependent on the light and water conditions it's under. So that makes me wanna bang my head. Also, corals will show, the same coral will show two different growth patterns and colors based on where you put it in the tank. Acros are well known for this. An acro high up in the tank under bright light, under high flow, will look different than a coral that can be just a few inches away in the lower light and the lower flow. And it can be the exact same, it can be from the exact same colony. This makes me wanna bang my head on the wall. So, I mean, if a name coral doesn't have a real standard, if you can't really apply a real standard to something that changes so dramatically based on lighting and water flow and color, and I look at dogs as an example. Dogs have an AKC standard. A dog breed has a ideal standard that we try to meet at these dog shows where the best of the best are the ones closest to the ideal standard. There's paperwork that goes with the puppies. Basically, you'll know who the parents were. You'll have proof that it's a purebred animal, and we pay extra when we buy our dogs for this reason. Now, when it comes to coral, there is no paperwork. 
we buy a home wrecker or an acro or an interstellar it comes in the mail and really all we've got is the person who sold it to us saying yeah i think this is what it is now some of the bigger companies have actual aquaculture stuff going on where they can show some lineage in this but the reality is there is a lot of opportunity for change let's talk about this for a second so if i get a coral in from the ocean because i do wholesale coral and i'm going to use the cherry garcia chalice as my example so if i get a cherry garcia chalice in from the ocean and it looks just like a cherry garcia is it truly a cherry garcia the colors are super close the patterning's super close but is it truly cherry garcia it's definitely it's probably from a different colony it came from the ocean in fact it could be thousands of miles away from where the original cherry garcia was harvested is it still truly a cherry garcia even though it matches really closely now let's talk about that cherry garcia because if you put it in your tank even though it's a chalice and they don't change its colors as much as acaris it can change color when you put it in your tank so when you put it in your tank if it changes color is it still a cherry garcia you decide but that's the kind of stuff that makes me want to bang my head when it comes to named corals also many corals have many different names talk about wanting to bang your head when people are naming corals or the same coral different names it gets really complicated and confusing so in my opinion named corals have their place they're basically there in my opinion as an identifier if i say a coral is an interstellar mushroom you're gonna know what i'm talking about beyond that i don't care about coral names personally i buy my coral based on the way it looks and how cool it is and everything beyond that to me is marketing now i know this video is going to be controversial so i predict this video is going to get more thumbs down than most but thank you for watching this episode of mile high reefers let me know what you think in the comments below odds are i can't answer all of them but i'm interested to know what you guys think about name corals are they all hype to drive income in earning for coral companies or is there something i'm missing thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one